I'm a sucker for a good research paper. That is why when I stumbled upon this new paper, Differential Transformer, I was immediately hooked. This seems quite well researched, seems quite credible and presents new fascinating insights. It is clearly very well written and well organized and you will see when I try to describe to you what exactly is happening in this paper in as simple words as possible without going into any mathematical, statistical or machine learning mumbo jumbo. I will also drop the link to it in video description so that if you are inclined to go deeply into those mathematical concepts feel free to do so but in this video I will be uh, explaining it in as simple words as possible. So let's get right into it. Before I explain what is differential transformer let's have a quick look at what exactly is a transformer. A transformer is a type of neural network architecture or model architecture which was introduced in 2017 for natural language processing tasks. Transformers is primarily designed to handle sequential data like text or speech and is particularly useful for tasks such as language translation, text summarization and question answering. The transformer architecture is composed of two main components. One is called as encoder, the other one is called as decoder. Encoder processes input sequences such as text into a continuous representation. And then decoder generates output sequences based on the encoded input. There are two key components of transformer architecture. One is called as self-attention mechanism. The second one is called as soft max function. Self-attention mechanism allows the model to focus on specific parts of the input sequence when generating output. Soft mass function normalizes the attention points or scores or numbers to determine the importance of each input element so that it could give the attention to it. That is all it is doing. So in transformer one, again in again in a very simple words, what transformer is doing, it is just taking a specific part of text and then it is continuously encoding it and then generating the output on the basis of it. That is all it is doing. So what different this differential transformer is bringing to this existing transformer architecture? Differential transformer is an improved version of transformer architecture that addresses the issue of attention noise. Attention noise occurs when the model focuses on irrelevant parts of the input sequence leading to a suboptimal performance. Now there are two key innovations in differential transformer which is also called as diff transformer in short. First key innovation is called as differential attention mechanism. This new mechanism calculates attention scores as the difference between two separate softmax attention maps or softmax attention functions or the result of it. This subtraction cancels out any noise promoting sparse attention patterns. Second innovation is noise cancelling approach. This has been inspired by noise cancelling headphones and differential amplifiers in the electrical engineering. That is all it is doing. Now this has been you know represented in graphical format in this diagram which I have just explained to you. So what are the benefits of this diff transformer here? Now I'm just uh, showing you this diagram where if you're inclined to go into more mathematics, this soft mass function, how this linear algebra is happening, feel free to read through it. But I'm not a machine learning engineer or guru, so I can't really exactly tell you the math about it. But for us mere mortals, all we need to know is this, that this new diff transformer is calculating the attention score as a difference between two softmax function. 
and what is softmax function it normalizes the attention score to determine the importance of each input element what is this attention score this attention score comes from the attention mechanism that allows the model to focus on specific part of the input sequence when generating the output because if you think about it in a neural network when we say for example that this model is a 70 billion parameter model so it's, there are 70 billion different parameters and then there are weights there are biases there is so much happening within the layers of the model so instead of uh, just covering all of it what model does is it just focuses its attention on a specific part of that input and then generates the output with the help of some software max <clears throat> functions and that is what it is doing so what are the benefits here improved performance in language modeling and various downstream tasks enhanced ability to retrieve key information it also mitigates hallucination in question answering and text summarization it is more robust to order permutation in in-context learning or ICL and it reduces activation outliers. So differential transformer is an advanced architecture that builds upon the transformer model and by introducing a differential attention mechanism, it reduces attention noise and improves performance in various NLP tasks, making it a promising foundation for large language model. So that is what this differential transformer is i hope that i was able to describe it in as simple words as possible but still if you have any questions please feel free to ask them in the comments and i will try my my best to answer it in as simple words as possible now before we part let me introduce you to our good friends at agent ql who are sponsoring this video agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for. I will also drop the link to their website in video description, so do check them out. Now. I will drop the link to this paper in video description. Feel free to read through it. It is quite a good read. Uh, and even if you're not a machine learning engineer, just ignore and bypass all the mathematical equations and stuff. Just read through in between and I'm more than sure you are going to enjoy it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please do me a favor and share it among your network as that helps a lot. Thank you for watching and thanks for all the support.